With some of the year's hottest vehicles debuting at the New York Auto Show, one ride is turning heads by taking a trip down memory lane. Take a look at this. Tony Garofalo spent over five years building his own Chitty Chitty Bang Bang race car. Garofalo, a retired NYPD officer, used his pension to recreate the iconic vehicle from the 1968 film. He says his obsession for the flying car began after attending the movie premiere when he was just four years old. The original car that was in the movie that you know was parked outside of the uh, of Radio City, and the cast from the movie were there. And then I went inside and saw the movie on the big screen, and I was completely blown away. The vehicle is fully operational and can reach speeds of up to 65 miles an hour on land. No word yet on its airspeed and altitude. You can it fly? It says fully operational here in the script, Mary, so I'm assuming it can fly. Want to see it off the ground? We'll see.